Hello Church, Pastor Andrew here with today's devotional. Uh, And to begin, I just want to start with our memory verse for the week. It comes to us from Romans chapter 1, the first half of verse 16. And Paul writes, I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to all those who have faith in God. And so it's this beautiful summary of what the gospel is. Uh, It it tells us what the gospel is capable of, that it is able to rescue uh, uh, us humans who are just hell-bound and dead in our sin and um, enemies of God. And yet through the power of the gospel, we are made into children of God. We are made into, be brought into fellowship with God. And so it's this amazing thing that we have knowledge of and access to and something that we are called to spread and to share with others. And that's why we've been talking about this verse um, when it comes to our our discussion on evangelism, as we talk about being bold as lions and sharing the gospel with others, because it is the very power of God. And it fits well also as we think about today, this, this day being Veterans Day. And we think about those we know who are serving or who have served in the military, those who have um, put their lives on the line for their country. And in order to serve in the military, you have to be unashamed. Just as Paul is unashamed of the gospel, those who sign up to serve in the military, they're unashamed of their country. They are plugging into something that is greater than themselves, bigger than themselves. And just as we, uh, as Christians, we sign up to serve the Lord, we sign up to be disciples of Jesus, Um, we are plugged into the church. We're plugged into something that is bigger than ourselves, something that is worldwide, something that extends back into history and extends forward into the, the very end of time. That's the church. And that's what we have the privilege to be a part of. And just like a soldier who has to listen to his leader, he has to follow orders so too we follow Christ. And Christ has given us commands that we are to live out. And whether or not we want to, right? A a soldier doesn't get to to make certain choices on the battlefield. He follows the commands of um, the officer who is above him. And in the same way, we follow Christ. We need to follow his commands and be faithful in our duty to him. The other thing a soldier has to do is count the cost. Um, They have to kind of take into account what it takes to serve. It could cost them their lives. Indeed, for many it has cost them their lives. It costs them a great toll um, for their family who's left home when they're overseas serving or when they're outside of the home uh, doing their duty. The family back home has to pay a cost. And so being a soldier it requires you to put everything on the line. And of course, the same is true for us as Christians. When Jesus, when we sign up to be a disciple of Jesus, we give our everything. We give our lives, our heart and soul and mind and strength, our motivations, our, our thought life, you know, our, our, the way that we make decisions. All these things are surrendered to Christ. We count the cost, and the cost is everything. Christ demands everything. But we do so with joy, because we know that the power of the gospel is for salvation. And we cling to the hope of our salvation. And so uh, this Veterans Day, I just want to, uh, I want you to acknowledge and remember those who serve uh, and those who have served. And so if you have someone in your life who is a veteran, Call them up, send them a text message, get in contact with them, encourage them, let them know that you are thinking about them, that you are, that, uh, you are um, appreciative of the, the role that they have taken and the cost that they have paid. And so uh, as, we, as we close this little devotional, I just want to um, reiterate the, the fact that just as a soldier is not ashamed of their country, as Christians, we are not ashamed of the gospel, the very thing that saves us. Um, I think 
when it comes to freedom in a country, it's the military that protects that freedom. And so we can take our freedom for granted or we can thank those who have fought and died to ensure that we get to maintain that freedom. Uh, and so I want to take a moment to pray, to pray for uh, the veterans in our own lives. Would you pray with me? Father God, we thank you for those uh, brave men and women who have counted the cost and have decided, Lord, to put their lives on the line for something bigger than themselves, for their own country. Lord, we pray your blessing on them. We pray your blessing on those who are currently serving, your protection, God, that they would know your peace and your presence. And Lord, we pray for those who um, have fought, <clears throat> who have paid the cost, who have, um, you know, who have left a toll on their family and, and how <clears throat> their duty to their country may have left a toll on them, whether they're wounded physically or mentally. Father, we pray for your Holy Spirit to bring peace to bring restoration to those who, uh, who have paid such a high cost. And Lord, we ask that you would bring your healing. Lord, we ask that you would bring uh, joy to those who have served, that they would know that they are appreciated um, and that they would know the joy of the Lord. And we pray, God, for us as a church, that you would embolden us by your spirit, that we would not be ashamed of the gospel that has saved us and that you would help us to be bold, Lord, as we share that gospel with others in our lives. These things we lift up to you, Lord, thanking you, uh, thanking you that you hear us and that you care uh, about the things that we have to say to you. Uh, in the holy name of Jesus, we pray these things. Amen.